Wonderful. We're here for this wonderful presentation this afternoon. I am your host, Myron D. Jackson, your master of ceremonies for this wonderful occasion for this Christmas season. We are here for a very rare occasion, and that is the unveiling of art in a public space, which does not happen in this territory very often. As a art advocate, I'm very pleased to be here today as part of this program sponsored by Yacht Haven Grande, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, and on behalf of the artist, Mr. Edney Freeman, who is no stranger to me. We're here to celebrate the unveiling of the Mokojumbi Jamboree by the Sea, a public arts initiative. Now, that's very important for you to understand. A public arts initiative. Sculptures by Mr. Edney L. Freeman on the 9th of December, at the beginning of our Christmas holiday season. We're here to celebrate these three figures as part of the cultural heritage of the United States Virgin Islands. Ironically, the symbol for our Department of Tourism is a Mokojumbi with three stars. And those three stars represent St. Croix, St. Thomas, and St. John. It has become an iconic figure in celebrating the heritage of the Virgin Islands and throughout the Caribbean, and also very much tied to its African heritage and past. This festival arts tradition of masquerading was brought by our ancestors hundreds of years ago from various ethnic groups and nations from the continent of Africa, survived the Middle Passage, slavery, emancipation, and on the eve of our 175th observance of emancipation in the United States Virgin Islands, we are here to unveil these three wonderful statues. So on behalf of the sponsors and the artists, welcome. At this time, we are going to ask uh, that we have the son of Rudy Farrell, not the son of John Farrell, Magnus, who is Rudy Farrell, to come to the podium and uh, speak with you because this program is also dedicated in honor of his father, the late Magnus John Farrell. Magnus was his nickname in the Virgin Islands and in the Caribbean nicknames are very important and most times people know you by your nickname and not your birth given name. As a result of his pioneer uh, contribution in the art of Mokojumbi in the Virgin Islands, specifically St. Thomas but not limited to we are here today to celebrate the art that has survived and continues to flourish as part of our festivals and celebrations. One of the characteristics of the Virgin Islands Mokojumbi is that we, compared to other places in the world, and specifically the Caribbean, is the height. We have extended the height beyond our other communities and other traditions and people are just amazed of their ability to transform a body and two narrow sticks, two by fours, if they're two by fours or from two by fours. And it has evolved over the centuries and the decades. So when you see a Mokojumbi in St. Thomas, St. Croix or St. John, they are uniquely different from other parts of the Caribbean in that regard, and there are various innovations that have come about, and we will reference them here today. So without any further ado, and first of all, let me establish the protocol. We have members of uh, 
the Yad Haven Grande uh -huh. establishment. And if you would please stand and be recognized. Listen, um, you know, I have a lot to say about this in terms of um, the gentlemen that are standing here. These people have shown the support and the vision to trust in me to produce and provide these cultures for you people today. Eric is the man, and he's the first person I met to do this, and all the other um, administrative people um, are the people that we got to deal with, especially that gentleman over there under that uh, arch over there. That's Charlie Irons, general manager, general manager of the Grand Virgin uh, Yacht Haven Grand. We thank him for bearing with me through all these three years. Oh my. But anyway, we're going to continue the program. We want to really thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for trusting in me and supporting and bringing this event into fruition. Thank you. And those were the words of our, our artist, Mr. Edney Freeman. And also we'd like to recognize our family members of Mr. Freeman, if they could stand. All the way, just got off the plane from Maryland. This is Sister Maha. Welcome, Maha. All the way from Maryland to be part of this event. And other extended family members here with us, we'll also like to recognize and recognize Ms. Chantel Poeb. She is the niece of the infamous Ali Paul and the Paul family who are tradition bearers in this art. Uh, we also like to recognize Mr. Rudy Farrow, please stand. And his uh, extended family member next to him, Mr. Adam. Uh, members of uh, his uh, teaching career who are here with us, please uh, stand. Mr. Howell. And Mrs. Howell and Mr. Howell. And you are, are the people of the Virgin Islands, visitors, well, all welcome. So at this time, we'll have Mr. Rudy Farrell, son of John Farrell, better known to us as Magnus. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not a person of words, but I've noticed one thing that I appreciate and would like to say. I dance Mokul Jumbi on these islands, St. John, St. Croix, St. Thomas, which I was born for 16 years. I understand that my father, John Magnus Farrell, was the tallest, and I've never seen anyone dance like him. This Mokojumbi that we see here, tremendously good. But it's, it's one thing I would like to say in the 60, 70 years of Moko Jumbi, which was my father, Magnus. You see this young man dancing and going on, and very creative. But when you go to a public place or a business place and try to get some insurance for this magnificent person, you can't get it. But you enjoy the way, if he trip out here, his hospital works. And that's what I'm about, that's why I came out here, because I'm still trying to see someone or someone try to get some insurance for these young people that's coming up. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, on that note, 
are one of the influences that the artist recalls is as a child on the streets of St. Thomas uh, for a carnival at the Virgin Islands that uh, has a, a very long history of the festival arts which was revived in 1952 but goes back as far as the 1800s, 1912 and 1914 if the, if the last date is correct from my recollections. And over the decades we have preserved the traditional arts and Magnus was one of the Mokojumbis or the only Mokojumbi at the time in the 1952-54 and subsequent other festival arts here in, on the island of St. Thomas and not limited to. So to have his son with us today is quite an honor and at the appropriate time we will duly recognize his contribution. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. John McCleverty of the Virgin Islands traditional Moko Jumbis to come to the podium, who is also no stranger to the Virgin Islands community in this uh, traditional uh, festival arts, who himself has been a Moko Jumbi and continues to support uh, through his organization and uh, cultural entity, the preservation of this tradition. Mr. McCleverty. Thank you and good day to all and welcome. I, my name is John McCleverty Jr. I'm a former Mukujumbi. Uh, I thank God for Mukujumbi. I thank uh, Magnus and everybody that came before me while going to college in the United States. I use Mukujumbi as my my work, and this put me through college and paid my rent and was able to share the culture all over the Eastern Seaboard in the United States and through Canada and also in Europe. I came home and we made Dick Carnival for many years uh, where we, we trained a lot of Mokojumbis and so forth. And, and today I still, is, I'm able to make special stilts for the dancers. There's a special technique you gotta have. And I have that technique and I do it for the dancers. But today in recognition of the great Mukujumbis that we've had in the past, the VI traditional Mukujumbi would like to present this award to John Magnus Farrell for his outstanding contribution as the Grand Master in the art of Mukujumbi and as a cultural bearer to the people of the Virgin Islands. Rudy, I'd like to have that let you I'd like you to have that from us. Also we have another one to Alvin Ali Paul which is one of the greatest dancers that I've witnessed in, in my life. Magnus as a child, I saw him very different. But Ali, Ali, Ali Alvin Paul, we saw his work. He's one of the greatest dancers, let me tell you, okay? He's passed now, but we'd like to give this achievement award to Mr. Alvin Ali Paul for your outstanding contribution as the master of the art of Mukujumi as a cultural bearer to the people of the Virgin Islands. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so uh, that will be it. Let me get one with uh, the green hair. Okay, thank you very much. And that's it for me today. Um, the Mukujumi dance is great. Uh, we have developed, we've come a long way. The moves, the actions, and at this time now is greater than we have ever done. 
So I'd like to really congratulate you to carry this tradition on and inspire all of us and teach the youth. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. McCleverty, uh, for those uh, very important presentations today, keeping in the tradition of the Virgin Islands and making sure that uh, the legacy of our past is passed on to a future generation. Uh, when you take the time to read each description, you'll see on the first plaque, Sankofa. Go back and fetch it. And that's what we're doing today. And I would like uh, the management uh, to, re to really understand that we truly appreciate the investment made in these three figures at your facility. And that uh, they will be here for a very long time and for generations to come. At this time, I'd like to uh, bring to the podium the Executive Vice President of the Real Estate and Business of uh, the Yacht Haven Grande, which is Mr. Eric Simonton. Simonton. He represents Latin America, Caribbean, and the United States. And it's a great honor to have him here with us this afternoon. Welcome. Thank you. It's, uh, it's an honor to share the podium with, uh, with these folks that have done so much for the arts community uh, the Mocha Jumbie culture. It's really neat to be here, and it's truly a, a joyous day for us. Uh, this, this particular project began in 2018, and some of the darkest days we've had in a long time here on the island, coming out of Hurricane Irma. And we were very committed to building back Yacht Haven Grand and our roots and connections to community better and stronger than um, we've ever had them. And uh, it was with the full support of our CEO, Tom Muckamal, who decided we really want to bring in the spirit and the character and the energy of the island and the Caribbean into our property and make it a, a much closer part of what we do here at Yacht Haven Grand. Um, and so we reached out to uh, the Virgin Islands Council for the Arts, um, who was amazing in helping facilitate uh, our introductions to artists in the community and we've done a few projects on the property but we really wanted to do something special um, for the people of the islands and really visitors and tourists that come visit the property here um, i met mr freeman in 2019 uh, and we worked on this project for a long time he had when we first met he showed me a few ideas for his arts but we were we were looking through his book and he finally showed me his, his good stuff. And he turned to the back and he said, well, how about this, Eric? And it was perfect. I cannot tell you that, that it was exactly what we were looking for. Uh, the Mocha Jumbies are exciting. His rendition of them uh, were amazing. And we had the opportunity to work together over uh, the next couple years, putting this all together. And uh, just having the opportunity to get to know Mr. Freeman uh, passionate, uh, vigilant, uh, you know, the attention to detail, when, when these get un unveiled, I invite you to take a look at every detail and soak it in, uh, because this man uh, and his attention to detail and historical accuracy was absolutely amazing. And we spent a ton of time together. It was one of the most fun things I've done in the last couple of years professionally is get to know Mr. Freeman and have the opportunity to allow him to unveil this legacy project that means so much to him and the community. Um, with that, I'd like to introduce Mr. Freeman because there's one thing I've learned about Mr. Freeman, he does have a few things to say. And so I don't want to take up any more time because he's the man of the hour, Andy Freeman. <laughs> We have to formally introduce him. Thank you very much. Mr. Edney Freeman, a native Virgin Islander, artist, educator. He holds a master's degree from Rochester Institute of Technology School of American Crafts, majoring in sculptural ceramics, and a Bachelor of Arts degree from City College of New York. 
He has two life-size brown sculptures, Mokujumbis with Taurus, at the World Sculpture Park, which was placed there in 2006, and the Tropical Masquerader with Whip, which was installed in 2011 at the Technology Park, both in Changchun, China. His work has been displayed at El Museo uh, de las Americas in Puerto Rico, um, Mat Matia Reed African Art Center in Greensboro, North Carolina, and Genesis, how do you pronounce that again? Geneseo. Geneseo <laughs> State College in upstate New York and the University of Rochester and in the United States Virgin Islands. In 2008-2009 academic year, Mr. Freeman was selected as the first male recipient of the United States Virgin Islands Territorial State Teacher of the Year Award. He is also mentioned in the 2000 Who's Who in America. Edney has created an original patent chess set featuring uniquely designed Caribbean motifs. So the chess players, you could commission him in that regard. His works are comprised of the shield series, where the African shield form is used to convey universal messages, and the slave tax series, in which American brand of enslaved Africans of the antebellum South, specifically South Carolina, is captured in clay and sheep copper. Co-founder of the Association of the Virgin Islands Visual Arts Educators, Mr. Freeman has also been affiliated in various capacities with the School of Visual Arts and Careers, a St. Thomas Virgin Islands after school arts program for gifted and talented students since its inception. Mr. Freeman's sculptural and ceramic work can be found in the homes of prominent art collectors in the territory and other international locations. His passion is to produce and promote art and sculptures in public spaces that tell the story of the United States Virgin Islands and his Caribbean and African American heritage. His most recent work is this public art installation commissioned by Yacht Haven Grande Marina which has created three life-size brown cast iconic Mokojumbi sculptures entitled Mokojumbi Jamboree. Ladies and gentlemen, the artist Edney L. Freeman. Hello, 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 hello. Greetings and welcome respected elders, special guests from near and afar. And I have a special guest from afar, my sister Maha. Just got off the plane from Maryland. Welcome, Maha. Welcome to all of you to share this moment with us. And I say us, that means Yacht Haven Grand, you know, and behind me, my MC, and all of the people that contributed to making this happen down to the brick, the last brick that was laid here the other day, and the other men that dig the holes to put these sculptures in, I salute you. This project began, like Eric had said, 2018, but I didn't meet Eric until 2019. But I'm gonna tell you this, right? Behind every project that I have done, there is a back story. And I gotta tell you this, right? So, my wife is back here. We were renewing our vows on the steps of Fort Christian, right? And so, in between the ceremony, you know, for those of you who don't know where the Fort Christian is, it, stand, it sits directly across from the Francois building where the Vika office is. And on the veranda, I see two figures wildly waving at me. Waving at us, you know, like that, right? 
And so we're in the middle of the um, ceremony. So as the ceremony ends, these two ladies appear before me, and they're all excited. They say, oh, Mr. Freeman, Mr. Freeman, we've been looking for you. There's a gentleman that's been trying to reach you, and he wants you to work on a project. And that is where this project began. And that is where my wife and I renewed our vows. And this showed, like, this got to be a good sign. Good things are going to happen. Oh, our other Mukajumbis are here. Welcome. Welcome, you guys. Okay. Hey, I want one of you to get over. Oh, man, yeah, that's four of you. What am I, I thought it was only going to be three. Well, welcome, all of you. Okay. Now, as with this reveal, I encourage you all to read the infographic plaques. On those plaques, which were carefully done by, <laughs> with my prodding of the design firm that put these together. Okay, the history, the layout and all of that, the selection of photographs and all of that. Let me tell you, it's details after details after details. So, you know, if you have time, you don't have to do it today, but please read the infographics. The information was gathered diligently. Well, who is this little person climbing up here? Hey, guy. Welcome. What's up? Family, you safe? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the information on these infographics is very important that you read the history, okay? Now, this was gathered from reliable sources of Dr. Robert Nichols, who has written the definitive volume of the U.S. Virgin Islands Mukajumbi History and Antecedents. Most of the information was gathered as well from my colleague and co-worker and co-conspirator in this, uh, Mr. Willard John. He's not here now. Willard is over in St. Croix. You know, they're having their festival now. And so his troop, Guardians of Culture, Mukajumbi troop, which he trains, are now probably performing somewhere over in St. Croix. So I want to give um, kudos to those guys, to all the Mukajumbis, in particular this dedication, this, these three pieces here are dedicated to the memory of John Magnus Farrell, okay? John Magnus Farrell. Now, I'm gonna tell you a story how this all began. Now, okay, I'm aging myself. In the 50s, right? Here I am. Yeah, here I am at this carnival parade. And at that time, the parade went from east to west. Nowadays, it goes from west to east. So I'm on the shoulders of my tall uncle's shoulders. I'm waiting for Magnus to come up the street, right? And we're standing by the well, right in front of um, the building owned by um, the George family, right in front of by the white market, right in front of Market Square by the white well. So that's where we used to stand, across from near Peppermint Stick by this place called um, Danny, Daniel's Variety Store, right? So here comes, Magnus, and you know what he has with him? He has a whip, and he's cracking that whip. And if you read some of the information on these plaques, you will see that part of the cultural heritage is that when you use a whip, it frightens the youth into adulthood, okay? So that's what it did to me, literally. I jumped off of my uncle's shoulder, yeah and hid behind my uncle until Magnus passed. And so these sculptures are dedicated to him. Okay, so um, with that, I think we're about ready to unveil these sculptures, man. Because this is all about Mag Magnus and these sculptures. So we got a Mukajumbi by each. So now I'm gonna go over there, and the Mukajumbis, we're gonna strike up the band you're going to play a little kick that for us while we unveil. And um, I think I'm going to walk with this mic. Do you have, is the other mic working? Yeah. Um, yes. 
Hold on, guys. Um, I, I want to say something about the band. Something about the band. Something about the band. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, the sculpture that they're standing by, if you look at the plaque, is called what? Pan around the neck. You see those guys here? They got pan around the neck. The leader of the group is one of my former students, Rabbi Felix. Ralph Rabbi Felix. No, I don't know the name. So while Edney uh, goes to the first of uh, sculpture, I'll introduce the other members of the band. We have Mr. Wayne Donadell, Malika Alik, Vincent Donestar, Jayshan Satori, Sheldon Gums, Gerald Hodge, El Tino Pickering, Leroy King, Miguel uh, Bugunu. Those are the members that are here with us. I hope I didn't leave anyone else. Uh, so you can strike up now, uh, pan in motion. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Handshake. Welcome, Handshake. Welcome, Handshake. Shake his hand, people. Welcome to the Virgin Islands. Welcome, Handshake.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like a unique piece of artwork, Mr. Freeman has uh, Mocha Jubis here on the side for sale. Original art. Thank you. It's so pretty on the train on your channel. Hi, how are you? 